Hi, listeners. Welcome to today's enhanced podcast of Aspects of Math History. I am Miss Lyon, and today is June 25th. During this episode, you will learn about the history of calculators. Calculators have played a vital role in the advancement of mathematics. So, let's begin. The first calculator was called an abacus. It was made of a wooden frame, wires, and sliding beads. Abaci were mainly used by merchants, fishermen, and farmers to keep track of quantities. There are some people in cultures around the world that still use an abacus today. Abaci were the only calculators in use until the 17th century. In 1622, William Autret invented the slide rule. Later improvements were made so the slide rule could be used to compute logarithms and perform other type of operations. The slide rule was actually used frequently until the development of programmable calculators. In 1623, the first automatic calculator was invented. The calculating clock could add and subtract six-digit numbers and was used to calculate astronomical tables. In 1643, Blaise Pascal, a well-known mathematician, physicist, inventor, and philosopher, invented the calculation device known as the Pascaline. This instrument was used for tax calculation in France until 1799. In 1822, the Difference Engine, a mechanical calculator, was capable of manipulating and holding seven numbers of 31 decimal digits each. It was later used to create tables of logarithms. In 1844, the compometer was invented. Unlike the first calculators, this was the first successful key-driven calculating machine. In 1893, the millionaire calculator was introduced. This was the first calculator that allowed direct manipulation by any digit. One turn of a crank for each figure in the multiplier. In 1902, the Dalton ad listing machine was introduced. This was the first calculator to use only 10 keys. This was the beginning of the 10 key that we know today. In 1948, the miniature Curta calculator was introduced after being developed by Kurt Hertzstark in the Nazi concentration camp. It was a step geared calculating machine that was handheld. Now begins the development of electronic calculators. IBM created the first all transistor calculator called the IBM 608 in 1957, which cost around $80,000. The same year, the world's first all electric compact calculator, the Model 14-A, was made by Casio. It was built into a desk and used relay technology. In 1961 came the ANITA, which stood for a new inspiration to arithmetic accounting. It was unique because it had a full keyboard. 1965 saw the introduction of the Olivetti Programma 101. This was a program machine that could read and write magnetic cards and had a built-in printer. In 1967, Texas Instruments developed their first calculator that was handheld. It was able to add, multiply, subtract, and divide. The output was printed on paper tape. The first American-made pocket-sized calculator was introduced in 1971. The Bomar 901B, often referred to as the Bomar Brain, had four main functions with an eight-digit LED display. It retailed for $240. The 1980s brought much light to the graphing calculator. The first was the Casio FX7000G in 1985. Other significant changes were made during the 21st century leading up to the graphic and financial calculators we use today. I really hope you've enjoyed learning about the remarkable innovations in technology over the course of calculator history. This is Miss Lyon and I'm signing off until our next episode of Aspects of Math History.